something to document. This could be a happy time in your life, a fascinating landscape, or perhaps an important time in history. Whatever this may be, it usually has some sort of significance to the person taking the photograph. Personally, I tend to choose times with my family or with friends. Once you have determined the subject of your photograph, the next step is to create or capture the subject. In order to do this, you must take a picture with a digital camera. This photograph will then capture the specific subject that you have chosen and store it on the memory card of the camera, which later can be stored on your computer. The next step in the process is to utilize the information. At this point in time, after your photograph is stored on your camera or computer, you determine what you're going to use your digital photograph for. For example, you can use your photograph to evoke memories from the past, such as a specific event or a vacation. You can also use it to exhibit yourself to the world. This could be framing your photograph and putting it on display, or you can also exhibit yourself online. You could also utilize your digital photograph to teach. This method can be found online or in textbooks where photographs portray a specific meaning. Finally, you could use your digital photograph simply for entertainment. I usually end up using my digital photography to display myself or friends on Facebook through my profile pictures and albums. I also use it to remember or to show others a certain time in my life, such as a ceremony or a vacation. One significant step in utilizing digital photography is distribution. In this day and age, there are many methods in which a photo can be distributed. One method could be to distribute your digital photography and print through a newspaper if you are a photojournalist or a photographer. Another method could be to distribute your digital photography on the internet through email or through a website, as I mentioned before. You could also distribute digital photography in school through textbooks or presentations. I distribute my digital photography usually on the internet through websites such as Facebook. The second important step in utilization is organizing or managing your digital photography. Most people today organize and manage digital photography through photo albums. Again, this could be an online photo album on websites such as Facebook or Flickr, or you can also print out your digital photography and organize it into a physical photo album. Usually, I organize my digital photography in an online album on Facebook. However, my family also stores photographs in a photo album at home. After you've utilized your digital photography through distribution or organization, the next possible step could be storage. There are several manners in which digital photography can be stored. You could store the information on your computer, on a memory device, or on the internet as previously stated. But digital photography can also be stored in the human brain as memory. Finally, as I have stated before, digital photography can also be stored in print through a family photo album or a picture frame. However, besides storage, once you utilize digital photography, it can also be disregarded. In this case, the information is either forgotten or you delete the digital photography from your storage device. Similar to storing images, your brain will also disregard images that do not hold significance. In print, digital photography can also be disregarded if thrown away. The final process of the information life cycle of digital photography is recalling the information. Once the digital photography is stored, you can have access to it at a later time if you rediscover or choose to utilize the information again. Therefore, this life cycle can repeat itself many times. In addition, if you post your digital photography online, other people can sometimes have the opportunity to use your information for their own purposes and restart the life cycle. I usually recall information when I look back at an old photo album or if I'm looking at or using online images.